because my youngest son served in Afghanistan. Uh, three weeks after he got back home, his best buddy that went out on over 130 combat missions with him took his own life. So that was, and it's affected my son to this very day. Joey Strickland knows what it's like to deal with post-traumatic stress. He feels it's important to help veterans who deal with suicide ideations. He started the Veteran Suicide Summit to encourage and support these veterans. So I understand that uh, veterans tend to struggle and a lot of times they, uh, they feel that the only way out for them is through taking their own lives and we want to work really hard to try to prevent that. John Mokerberg works to give veterans the benefits they deserve. The VFW helped push the issue of toxic exposure to open air burn pits. He is grateful the Senate passed a law to protect those who have been exposed. It has an impact years year, and, and years down the road. It may not be immediate, but it does have an effect on, on individuals. And we need to realize that and we need to take care of them. So I'm thankful for the fact that we finally have a mechanism in the honor of the PACT Act to do that. Shantrice Hooker is the first female black commander at her post. She joined VFW to help women veterans. She is grateful to get involved at VFW to decrease homelessness. I'm here, I'm here to support them, provide them with any resources, and especially help my community in any aspect that I can to grow. The VFW strives to provide resources to veterans. They have a whole team of veterans who are passionate about supporting each other. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.